Charles can't cut him off RF. Queen secretly made contingency plan for Andrew before her death. When King Charles III knew he his time to rule was about to come, he probably imagined he could cut Prince Andrew completely off the royal family. However, his late mother had plans for the prince even after her passing. Prince Andrew is unlikely to be forced out of his home by King Charles, royal reshuffle amid questions around his future within the royal institution, a royal commentator has claimed. As the late Queen's second son, Andrew once held a prominent position within the royal setup and is eighth in line to the throne. However, the prince was stripped of his military titles and the use of HRH after a bizarre BBC Newsnight interview where he was challenged over an alleged friendship with a convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein. Now, royal expert Russell Myers has suggested Andrew's alleged fears he and his ex-wife Sarah Ferguson might be moved on from royal lodging in Windsor are misplaced. Speaking on the Royal Beat podcast, Myers said Andrew and Sarah won't be getting kicked out of Windsor. Mr. Myers claimed that the Queen will have looked after Andrew, as there has been discussion about his finances and lifestyle following the monarch's death. He added, there's been a lot of discussion about where Andrew's money will come from, how he will finance his lifestyle, but the Queen will have looked after him. The mansion is a grade two listed building that dates back to the 17th century and was once a beloved home of the Queen Mother. Royal editor at the Mirror, Russell Myers, revealed this information during the Royal Beat podcast. He also revealed that the Queen left a nice fortune for Prince Andrew to Inhoy. The Royal Lodge was actually leased to Prince Andrew after the Queen Mother's death, along with the main house. Along with the main house, the lease included the gardener's cottage, the chapel lodge, six lodge cottages, police security accommodation, and a whopping 40 hectares of land. He was required to pay for any renovations himself, which reportedly were in the region of 7.5 million pounds. In 2004, he then moved into Royal Lodge with his two daughters, Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie, and soon after, so did his ex-wife, Sarah Ferguson. Given that Prince Andrew's future was secured through Queen Elizabeth II's will, King Charles III has no power to run him out of the Royal Lodge in Windsor. What he will reportedly do is remove titles from the prince's daughters and demote them to ladies. Before the Queen's death, the reigning monarch enjoyed robust health well into her 90s, although she used a cane in an appearance after her husband Prince Philip's death in April 2021. But months ago, she told guests at a reception, As you can see, I can't move. The palace, tight-lipped about details, said the Queen was experiencing episodic mobility issues. As public appearances grew rarer, she enjoyed frequent visits from her son Prince Andrew. She saw Andrew very, very regularly right up until her death, Vanity Fair's royal correspondent Katie Nicholl told Fox News Digital. They remained incredibly close, and she was very protective of him. Andrew and Fergie currently reside in a grade two listed mansion on the Windsor estate, which was leased to the prince following the Queen Mother's death. As a result, the prince reportedly remained close to the Queen before her death last month, and attended her funeral with other royal family members, though he was not allowed to wear his military uniform as a non-working member of the royal family.